In this video, I will give you an introduction to mathematical programming. Mathematical programs are mathematical ways of framing problems. And this mathematical translation of many problems is actually very straightforward. Basically, most problems consist of making decisions that maximize some objective while falling within the bounds of a possibly large number of constraints. In mathematical terms, this corresponds to saying that there is some objective function that depends on so-called decision variables, such that these decision variables belong to some set of feasible solutions. A more explicit way of describing the feasible set is usually through several inequalities, which can usually be written as g1 of x1 to xn greater or equals to zero, and so on until gm of x1 until xn greater or equals to zero. However, not all constraints are easily written this way. For instance, the variables x1 may be some binary variables. This means that we may have other constraints to add to our problems that may be of the form x1 integer, or in other case, we may have constraints like x1 in 0, 1. It's important to keep in mind that there usually are many ways to write the same program. In particular, it's useful to have all these different ways to write mathematical programs in your head so as to quickly recognize mathematical programs and to be able to translate one way of writing them into another, especially into a way that can easily be plugged into a computational solver. Typically, I've written here the mathematical program as the maximization of some objective function, but it might be that the computational solver that I want to use only take minimization program. Well, it turns out that this maximization program can easily be turned into a minimization of some cost function. Indeed, to do so, we simply change f by h equals to minus f, and the maximization of f is now equivalent to minimizing h of x under the same constraints as before. And importantly, any maximizer of the former maximization program will be a minimizer of this latter minimization program. Similarly, equality constraints can usually be written as inequality constraints. Indeed, the constraints g of x equals to 1 is equivalent to satisfying both constraints g of x minus 1 greater or equals to 0 and minus g of x plus 1 greater or equals to zero. There are more small tricks like this, but I think that the best way to really know them is through practice.